Okay, real quick, we're going to do a video on changing mixed fractions to improper. So if we have the fraction 1 and 3 fifths, that is what we call a mixed fraction because it contains whole numbers and fraction numbers. So if we think about what this looks like, it is 1 plus... three-fifths. That's what one and three-fifths look like, but really, to change that from a mixed fraction to an improper fraction says, how many fifths are there in total? Well, right here in this one, we have five-fifths. That makes one. And then the three-fifths is right down here. That's three-fifths. But when I'm changing it from mixed to improper, I'm really asking myself, how many fifths do I have? And the answer is, well, I have eight-fifths. So if you understand that those two fractions are the same thing, here is 5 fifths and here is 3 fifths, and together I have 8 fifths, and you understand why 1 and 3 fifths is 8 fifths, but how, Jack, is a different story altogether. How do I get that to be that? Well, the shortcut is very easy. You could do it one of two ways. You could say how many fifths are in my whole number, and since there's one here, that's 5 fifths, and I could add 3 more fifths and get 8 fifths, or I could simply follow this rule. Take your denominator and multiply it by the whole number. That will tell you how many fifths there are. So 5 times 1 is 5 fifths plus 3 more fifths gives me 8 and that is 8 fifths. So it's multiply and add. And that will be my shortcut rule for changing a mixed fraction to improper. Let's try another one. Try this one right now. 2 and 3 quarters. What would that be as a improper fraction. Pause the video now and see if your answer is correct. Okay, let's see if you did it right. So if I draw this, what I have here is two holes and three quarters. This is two and three quarters. And the question is, if this is a, a mixed fraction, how many quarters do I really have? Well, here I have four quarters. And here I have four quarters. So altogether in these two, I have eight quarters plus three more quarters. That is 11 quarters altogether. Now that's just rationalizing it through picture form. So two and three quarters is really 11 quarters. But if I wanted to follow my shortcut rule, four times two is eight. That means eight quarters. Plus three more is 11 quarters. So multiply and add. That gives me 11. How many? 11 quarters. Does that make sense? Hopefully. If not, watch the video 15 more times until your eyeballs fall out of your head.